Hi, welcome to this lecture. In previous lecture, we have already seen couple of questions that will be very useful to face your CK exam because these questions are definitely going to come in some or the other form. The language of the question might be different, but be assured that these questions will definitely come in the exam. So if you are able to solve 90% of the question that we will be covering throughout the series of these videos, then I'm quite sure you will be able to pass the exam very easily and of course with good marks. So continuing with that, let us solve few more questions. So we have already seen this question number one and this question number two. If you haven't done these questions, I suggest you to please go through the previous video and solve this question because I'm starting from scratch, taking up simple questions so that you can build up confidence while solving it. So please go through these questions before continuing with this video. The third question that we are going to solve is of weight is 7% and the question number three is create a new deployment called my deployment and scale the deployment to three replicas. That means we should run three pods. Make sure desired number of pod is always running. That means three replicas of that pod is always running. So let us go ahead and solve it. As we have seen, we are going to use killer coda playground for this. This is free and you can use that too to practice it. So as per the question, we need to create a deployment. So I'm going to write the command accordingly, kubectl create deployment. And here I'm writing the command because I already know this imperative command, but as I have already told you in the previous video, I suggest you to keep open the kubectl cheat sheet because that will be quite handy in the exam. So kubectl create deployment and name of deployment is my deployment. And then you need to specify image. So let us give the name. So no image name is specified here. So you can choose your own image, maybe busybox or nginx, whatever you feel like. So let us use nginx and we need to set the replicas to three. So this is also mentioned in kubectl cheat sheet replica. You can use the option hyphen hyphen replicas. So let us use that hyphen hyphen replicas equals to three. So this is it. This is the complete command. As I have shown in the previous video, you can also use the command to take the output of this command in a YML file and then accordingly change its content as per requirement. But here in this case, the question is very simple and straightforward. We can use the simple command to create it. So we are not going to write this in a YML file. I'm simply going to hit enter and let us run this. Okay, it says deployment created. So let us go ahead and check the deployment kubectl get deployment. And as you can see, my deployment is created. Three of the three replicas are ready. Let us check the pods. kubectl get pods. And as you can see, three pods are running. So we are done with the third question. Question number four is deploy a web nginx pod. So the name of the pod is given as web nginx and using the nginx 1.17 image. So this is the image and version that we need to use and we need to set the label as tier equals to web app. So let us go ahead and solve it. And here, as you can see, we need to create a pod. So I'm not going to use kubectl create. Instead, we will use kubectl run command. So I am here on the playground. So the command is kubectl run and we need to specify the name of the pod. And the name of the pod is web nginx and the image name should be nginx colon 1.17. This is the version that we need to deploy. And then we need to set the labels. So hyphen hyphen labels equals to tier equals to web app. So this is all the details we have. So it's a simple question of fetish 4%. And here again, it's a simple command and we have specified everything in the command itself. So we don't need to write the output to YML file. We can just run the command and get the results. So this is all I am hitting enter and it says pod created. So let us see the pod kubectl get pods. And as you can see, the web nginx pod is created and the container is in container creating state. Let us see if this has the required label. So command is kubectl get pod hyphen hyphen show labels. Okay, so it's showing labels for all the pods, but we are interested in the last one that we have just created that is web nginx. And as you can see, the label tier equals to web app is created. So we are done with this question. We will move on to the next one. But before that, I suggest you to please go through one of my videos that is about CK exam tips and tricks. I have shared my experience of CK exam in that video. So that will be really helpful before giving the exam. So it is a must watch. Please go watch it. Now let us continue with the question. Next question is question number five. The value of this question is 4% because this is a simple one. If you know the trick, this is about a static pod. So let us see what the question is. Create a static pod on node 01. So we need to create a pod and that to a static pod. 
I will tell you what static pod is but I am just mentioning here that it is a static pod and it has to be created on one of the node called node 01 and the name of the pod should be static hyphen pod. The image can be used as nginx and you have to make sure that it is recreated or restarted automatically in case of any failure happens. So that's a default thing, no issues in that. So first of all, let me tell you what a static pod is. So static pod are the pods which are bound to a specific node or to a specific kubelet. So kubelet is a process that runs on all the nodes. So the pod created is associated with a kubelet. The kubelet automatically tries to create a mirror pod on kube API server for each static pod that is present. So that means if a pod is running as a static pod, it will be visible on API server as well. One of the use case could be kubeadm uses static pod to create or build up the components like kube API server. So in daily life, you won't see a scenario unless you are using kubeadm or some other scenarios. But this type of question can be asked in the exams. You should be prepared on how to create a static pod. It's really simple. So let's see how to create one. So we are on the control plane. Let me clear the screen. So this is our control plane and let us do kubectl get nodes. As you can see, the name of the node is already node 01, which is mentioned in the question. So which is why I have given it a name node 01, but the node name could be anything. So don't worry about that. So we need to go inside this node. So let us do SSH node 01. So as you can see, we are inside node 01 now. Here we need to see the kubelet and where its configuration file is because that configuration file will have the path for static pod. Let us see the kubelet process. So you can run psox grab kubelet. So this is the result. So as you can see, the config YML is present here. Let us copy that and cad its content and, and look for static and look for static and look for static EDC Kubernetes manifest. So let us go inside this path. So no file are present and let us see what's the present working directory it is the manifest folder. Here we are going to create a YML manifest, a YML file for our static pod. So I'm going to use Vim editor to create the static pod. So VI is the Vim editor and let us give it the name static pod.yml. API version is v1. This is a simple pod definition file which you can get from Kubernetes documentation as well. I am just writing it down. Kind is pod. Metadata name, let us give it the name as mentioned in the question. Uh, it should be called static pod and the spec should be, we need to specify the image name. Name of the container, let us give it nginx container. Then image, let us set this to nginx. It should be aligned with the name. So this is the definition. This is a simple definition file. Let us save this. We have saved that file and that pod should be created automatically. Let us exit this node one and let us go to the control plane again so that we can see all the pods. So I'm just exiting this node. Now let us run kubectl get pods. And as you can see, the static pod node 01 is created now and it's running. So this is how you can create a static pod. So we have covered three questions in this video. We are going to cover more. So far we have covered five questions overall and going forward the complexity of question will increase but don't worry we are going to cover all the question in an easy manner and please practice all these questions because 90% of these questions are going to come in the exam for sure. So practice this much and see you in the next video.